Hello everybody, it's Adrian from Webcard Online and I'm all about the details. Now we all know that the 2020 Proton X50 is a very impressive car from the looks, the high-tech features that you get and the price that they are asking for. Overall package, this car is just a fantastic package. However, if there would be one small deal breaker that people would have with the X50, it would be the lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity in the X50. For example, my colleague Eric, who is very adamant about his cars having Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it's a big deal for him. However, Proton claims that they have the next best thing, which is QD Link. It works similar to like a mirroring function for your phone to the infotainment screen. So in today's video, I'm going to give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the QD link and figure out whether is this the next best thing or is it just better than nothing. Download the official Webcar app now on Google Play Store. So QD Link works for both Android and Apple phones, but for Android phones, you must first go onto the Google Play Store and download the QD Link app onto your phone. After that, it's just as simple as plugging into the USB port into the infotainment system located right under the center console. After that, you must first unlock your phone. There we go. And then launch the QD Link app on the infotainment screen. And there we have it. Now, immediately it bring up the home screen is Google Maps and Waze. Now, you might think that, oh, that's very cool. You have Google Maps on the infotainment screen. Well, yes and no. Like I've mentioned, QD Link is actually a mirroring function. And this is very clever because it's a shortcut key to the respective apps. So you can immediately press Waze and it will bring up Waze on your phone right here like this. So uh, there are a few functions onto the QD link, uh, going back to the QD link homepage, your phone homepage, yes, your phone's homepage like this, as such. Yep, quite cool. QD link homepage, which is that navigation thing there. Then you're able to do a screen rotation, which forces your phone screen to go into landscape mode. So this is definitely uses up uh, the real estate of the infotainment screen a little bit better. However, I don't like this huge chunk of the sidebar here. So it disrupts with the full and uh, it disrupts with the view and doesn't utilize the full 10.25 inch screen. So uh, next up, you're able to do a multitude of functions. You're even able to over here this three orange button. You're able to access all the different types of apps that you have on your phone. You're able to add the shortcut keys, very cool. So for example, you're able to access the WAP car app available on Google Play Store. Then right here, you get to read the latest news. You're able to even check the fuel price on WAP car app, like so, all updated. Very nice, very cool. Not only that, you're able to also open up the YouTube app and watch your favorite videos, for example, Wapcast YouTube channel. Now here's the problem with the QD link. On Android phones, if you do not connect to the Bluetooth on the head unit, the music, the audio will be projecting from your phone and not through the car's uh, interior speakers. So once you connect to the Bluetooth, give it a moment. Yep, it's connected and Cool stuff, cool stuff. Besides that, I also find one feature that's very convenient is you're able to use your Google Assistant right from your phone because it's connected. So you just say, hey Google, open Spotify. There you go. Everything is very, very well integrated in fact. Now, here comes the big problem with QD Link is that you have to consistently keep your phone screen awake. The moment you lock it, it goes away. It just opens up the main home page.
and there we go open up the spotify app again so yeah that's the little bit flaw on qd link which doesn't work very well with android auto or apple carplay now something i've noticed is on phones that side loads android auto or like on older phones which you have a separate app icon for the android auto you're able to add the android auto app onto the qd link launch the android auto app and you technically have well Android Auto connected on your Proton X50. Nice. Now comparing between QD Link and Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, I still much prefer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto simply because uh, on the official apps, all the functions are optimized for driving. Over here on the QD Link, everything is just forcefully turned into a landscape mode and you're able to unrestrictively access all the different types of applications for example Facebook Instagram you are able to even open TikTok right on the screen right here and I find that this is just a huge distraction to a lot of people I mean can you imagine uh, people who are watching YouTube watching uh, these kind of uh, videos on TikTok while you're driving yeah this is I'm not a fan for iPhones, the process is much more straightforward. You don't have to download a separate app onto your phone. Simply just plug into the USB port. And there you have it. So unlike the Android phones where you have the QD Link app and it optimizes the phone contents onto the screen, right here on the iPhone, what it works is simply just projecting all your iPhone contents onto the screen. So the difference here is that you're not able to use the uh, touch screen to operate your iPhone from the screen here. You have to use it via your phone. Yep. So that's the one difference between uh, iPhone as well as Android. But you're still able to access all the different types of apps, all the iPhone contents from your phone. Uh, now, it looks quite ugly with the uh, portrait style and it looks very tiny, but that's because uh, whenever you open an app that supports landscape display, it's going to go automatically go into landscape display. For example, I open up Waze right here like this and I simply turn my phone around and there you have it, landscape display. Not only that, you're able to access uh, your Siri personal assistant. Hey Siri, open Spotify. And there you have it. So, on... Um, this kind of iPhones, you don't have to connect your Bluetooth to get the uh, music and all the audios playing through the speakers. It will just automatically play it when you're connected to the USB port. So, um, for example, let me try to open up YouTube. And it takes a while to load. Yep. And you turn the phone around and it goes into full screen. There we have it. So what's the verdict? Is the QD Link apps a good replacement to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto? Personally, I feel not quite there yet. Now, despite being able to play your YouTube videos, access all your apps via this QD Link, um, however, I feel that the apps are not optimized for driving unlike Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, the functions just makes everything much easier, much seamless and optimize for your driving needs. So for example, on Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, you're not able to watch a YouTube video right from your screen or even scroll through TikTok from your screen. And that I feel is a very important safety feature because come on, when you're driving, you're not supposed to be distracted by all of these kind of videos and stuff. So yeah, QD Link, yes, it works, but I still feel that Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is still the better choice. So there you have it, QD Link on the Proton X50. Let me know in the comment section below if you're convinced with this uh, QD Link application. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. Download the official Wattcar app on Google Play Store now for all your latest news, reviews, and comparisons to help you find your next perfect car. See you there.